GTA 6 is going to be in Vice City and the state of Leonida, a fictional version of Florida. Let's try to identify some of the landmarks, features, and secrets that GTA 6 might have. GTA 6 map is expected to be huge, detailed, and accurate, as Rockstar Games always strives to create immersive and realistic worlds for their games. The map is said to be about twice the size of the GTA 5 map, and will feature three main cities, plus four subcities and smaller locations surrounding those areas, with a large lake in the middle of the map, Lake Leonida. The map will also include a swampy area called Grass Rivers, similar to the Everglades, and the GTA equivalent of the Florida Keys. The main GTA 6 location will be Vice City, a modern-day rendition of Miami, which was previously featured in Grand Theft Auto, Vice City 2002 and Grand Theft Auto, Vice City Stories 2006. Vice City is located in the southeast of the map, and will have a vibrant and colorful atmosphere, with neon lights, palm trees, beaches, and skyscrapers. Many landmarks from the Miami area are accurately represented in the game, such as the Freedom Tower, the Bayside Marketplace, the Venetian Islands, the Vizcaya Museum and Gardens, and the Art Deco District. Vice City will also have a functional tram, which stops at the airport and the Vice City Metro Station, as well as a large tennis court, a football stadium, and a large amphitheater. The second city is Port Gelhorn, which is located in the northwest of the map, and is based on Tampa, a major city on the west coast of Florida. Port Gelhorn is a port city, with a large industrial area, a naval base, a cruise terminal, and a bridge that connects it to the mainland. Port Gelhorn will also have a raceway, which is based on the Daytona International Speedway, a famous motorsport venue in Florida. The raceway will host various racing events and challenges, and will also have a museum and a gift shop. Port Gelhorn will also have a prison, which is based on the Florida State Prison, a maximum security facility that houses some of the most notorious criminals in the state. The third city is unknown, but it is located in the northeast of the map, and is based on Orlando, a city in central Florida that is known for its theme parks, attractions, and entertainment. The third city will have a large amusement park, which is based on Walt Disney World, the most visited resort in the world. The amusement park will have four themed areas, each with its own rides, shows, and characters. The third city will also have a basketball team, which is based on the Orlando Magic, a professional NBA team. The basketball team will have a stadium, which is based on the Amway Center, a multi-purpose arena in downtown Orlando. The four subsidies are smaller than the main cities, but they will still have their own unique features and activities. The first subsidy is based on Key West, the southernmost city in the continental United States, and is located in the southwest of the map, on an island chain that extends from the mainland. The subsidy will have a tropical and laid-back vibe, with colorful houses, bars, shops, and museums. The subsidy will also have a lighthouse, a naval air station, and a monument that marks the southernmost point in the continental United States. The second subsidy is based on Fort Lauderdale, a city on the east coast of Florida that is known for its beaches, boating, and nightlife. The subsidy is located in the east of the map, near Vice City, and will have a canal system, a beachfront promenade, a shopping mall, and a convention center. The subsidy will also have a yacht club, a marina, and a cruise ship, which will offer various activities and missions. The third subsidy is based on St. Petersburg, a city on the west coast of Florida that is known for its arts, culture, and history. The subsidy is located in the west of the map, near Port Gelhorn, and will have a downtown area, a museum of fine arts, a pier, and a park. The subsidy will also have a baseball team, which is based on the Tampa Bay Rays, a professional MLB team. The baseball team will have a stadium, which is based on the Tropicana Field, a domed stadium in St. Petersburg. The fourth subsidy is based on Cape Canaveral, a cape and city on the east coast of Florida that is known for its space exploration and aerospace industry. The subsidy is located in the east of the map, near the third city, and will have a space center, which is based on the Kennedy Space Center, a NASA facility that launches rockets and satellites. The space center will have a visitor complex, a launch pad, a rocket garden, and a shuttle landing facility. The space center will also offer various missions and events related to space exploration and science. The smaller locations are scattered around the map, and will offer more variety and diversity to the game world. Some of the smaller locations are based on real-life places in Florida, such as Coral Gables, Coconut Grove, Little Havana, Ocala, Gainesville, Daytona Beach, and Palm Beach. Some of the smaller locations are fictional, but they will still have their own themes and features, such as a golf course, a casino, a trailer park, a farm, a swamp, and a military base. The GTA 6 map will also have a dynamic weather system, which will affect the gameplay and the environment. The weather system will include sunny, cloudy, rainy, stormy, foggy, and snowy conditions, as well as hurricanes, tornadoes, and floods. The weather system will also change depending on the season and the location, as some areas will have more extreme weather than others. 
The weather system will also have an impact on the wildlife, which will include alligators, boars, dogs, snakes, raccoons, birds, frogs, bobcats, and rodents, as well as plants and toxic waste. The GTA 6 map will also have a lot of secrets and Easter eggs, which will reward the players for exploring and discovering. Some of the secrets and Easter eggs will be related to the previous GTA games, such as references, callbacks, cameos, and callbacks. Some of the secrets and Easter eggs will be related to the real-life locations, such as landmarks, celebrities, events, and culture. Some of the secrets and Easter eggs will be related to the GTA 6 story, characters, and missions, such as clues, hints, foreshadowing, and twists.